Rhetorical Quest. So far in our presentations, we've talked about three videos dealing with how to deal with our anxiety. That's important because if you are too nervous to give a speech, you can't give a speech. We dealt with in one video the three types of public speaking, epideictic, deliberative, and forensic. And we learned a little bit about how epideictic is a speech about values that's focused on the present. Deliberative is a speech about policy that's focused on the future. And forensic is a speech about facts that's focused on the past. This presentation is going to give you a preview of our future presentations. There are going to be several videos that deal with each of the subjects that we're going to preview just a little bit here. The subjects that we're going to deal with are what we call the canons of rhetoric. And there are five canons of rhetoric. Invention, which is uh, which is deciding what to say and how to say it in a way that's going to move your audience. Style, which is our grammar, the words we use, how we decide to use those words. We also call it verbiage, or sometimes verbal communication. Invention style, arrangement is the third. Arrangement is the order in which we put our speech. Invention style, arrangement, memory. Memory, how is it that you can remember your speech? And how is it that your audience can remember your speech? So invention, style, arrangement, memory, and finally, delivery. Delivery is the gestures and movements that you're going to give your, your speech. This order, invention, style, arrangement, memory, delivery, is really the order in which we work on all of our speeches. But I'm going to put them in a slightly different order. See? A lot of times, we really struggle with delivery. Delivery is how our voice should go, how our gestures should go. So actually, I'm going to deal with that uh, in a series of videos that will come first. I'm going to have three videos, one about delivery in general, one about specifically our delivery and our voice and how to use our voices effectively, and then our third one, which has to do with our gestures and our movements. Then I'm going to go into invention. I'll talk about how we can research for our presentations. And I'll talk about how we can use and evaluate our research. I'll talk about making logical appeals and how we can put our speech together in a logical way. I'll talk about what's the proper way of using emotions in our speech. And I'll talk about how we can make our speeches more credible. After that, I'll have three speeches dealing with arrangement. The first speech dealing with arrangement will give you a, a method of putting speeches together in a quick and easy way. The way that we have to get put speeches together a lot of times when we don't have much time to prepare. I'm also going to talk to you about two other ways of putting together a speech. One is called, I call, the ancient order. And it was an order put together a long time ago in ancient Rome. This order is a really useful way to put together really good, high-quality speeches. But it does take a little more time than that simple speech. I'm also going to give you a third arrangement for putting together a speech. This is a, a method of arrangements that's very popular right now, especially in the advertising industry. And it gets people to move and quickly make snap decisions, which is sometimes useful. After I'm done with that third video about arrangement, I'll start to make a few videos about style. I'll talk about how style is kind of arbitrary. But we can't just do whatever we want because there are certain social conventions. We'll talk about simple tools for simple citation. And we'll talk about how we can cite our work verbally when we're giving a speech. Finally, we'll talk about memory. Memory will, talk, will help us understand what we can do 
to help us remember to give a good speech, w remember our points and stuff like that. And then the last video of the canons uh, will be with helping your audience remember your speech. There may be another video after that that kind of just sums up all of this. So, at this point we've talked about dealing with anxiety and the three types of speeches. The rest of this quest, the rest of our rhetorical quest, a quest about coming to terms and understanding speech and language, is going to do, deal with first delivery, then invention, then arrangement, then style, and finally, memory. I hope that you've already gotten excited about what we're doing here, and that you go ahead and you jump right in right now and start looking at our next video, the one on delivery.